Purchasers of the TV Explorer, and with those analyzers recently updated users, can now use data logger function to make and store measurements within the powerful internal memory of the meter. From the measurement acquisition to the generation of pre-formatted reports, the user needs only to follow three simple steps. Automatic data acquisition, data revision on the TV Explorer screen, and finally, the data collating and printing using a PC computer. Let's have a look at the following example. The installer using a TV Explorer is required to check signals within a four-floor building, call it Lemsford. The installer will measure signals at the antenna head end and at every point on every floor. As a start, he connects the TV Explorer to the antenna head end. Next, he creates a new acquisition file and gives it a recognizable name. Here, it can be simply called Lemsford. This is the data logger function screen. The name of the acquisition file is shown on the top of the screen, followed by the name given to the specific measurement point. Once the names are assigned, he can start the acquisition process. The TV Explorer will tune to and measure all channels available in the active channel table, be they analog or digital. When finished, he moves to the next outlet point location. Now, he can simply access the Lemsor file and add a second measurement point that he can identify as floor 1. And he will repeat this process at all the measurement points he's required to include in the final report. There is no specific limit in terms of the amount of measurement points that can be saved in the TB Explorer acquisition file. Other than that is the memory capacity itself, which for these applications is large. Data can be reviewed on the TB Explorer screen with no need to connect it to any external device. In the lamps, for example, there are a minimum of five measurement points, floors 1 to 4 and the antenna head end. The measurement data collected at each point will be for all the channels operating and listed within the selected channel plan. By selecting antenna, for example, it is possible to review the recorded measurements for all channels. Measurements for channel 27, measurements for channel 31, measurements for channel 32 and measurements for channel 33. In this way, we can easily check all the signal parameters to determine signal quality in the available channels, that is to say, both analog and digital signals. It is also possible to display the recorded data in a different way by selecting one of the channels, channel 33 for instance, and view the data corresponding to that specific channel at the various measurement points. This is quite helpful to see how the signal varies as it travels through the distribution network. If there is some problem somewhere in the installation, it can be immediately detected by noting the name of the measurement point. All acquisition files in the data logger can be transferred to a PC using the PK tools. Then it's easy to create a database, a spreadsheet, or to generate a report straight from the raw data downloaded from the TV Explorer. So once the field job is over, the TV Explorer is returned to the office and connected to a computer. The analyzer connects to the PC using the RS-232 cable as supplied with the PK tools. PK tool software package is offered as an option and includes the RS-232 cable and a CD-ROM with the software for the PC. This software detects the TB Explorer or other Promax meters used to make the measurements automatically and includes various analyzer configuration utilities. For instance, a channel table editor that allows to create new or modify existing channel tables, delete import or export data files. Data logger files are downloaded into the PC 
in a format that is suitable to generate automatic preformatted technical reports. But once in the PC, the files can be processed and exported to other database or spreadsheet formats. It is also possible, if found necessary, to send acquisition files back to the TV Explorer. These files are compatible with most popular databases, so tailor-made reports are very easy to assemble using those off-the-shelf programs. Using PK Tool software, it is also possible to generate reports according to the specific requirements of official institutions or corporate customers. All this data can be stored in various formats, in a disk or CD-ROM attached to the documentation the installer gives to the customer. Using PK Tool software, the installer can print and give all reports to supervisors and kept in file for additional installation or maintenance work. Now you can add new functions to the TV Explorer by means of the firmware updating that is available in the Promax website. This way, from anywhere in the world and at any time, you will be able to take advantage of the new free functions that are continuously being developed for this instrument. Now, if the user requires it, the digital TV information can remain still on the screen, as well as the calculated bitrate for the audio signals. The new firmware releases improve the satellite signal analysis, as it is possible now to completely analyze the C and KU bands. The Explorer will calculate in each case the most suitable deviation frequency. When carrying out an automatic identification process, AutoID, from the Spectrum Analyzer mode, the TV Explorer holds on screen the network name in order to do a better channel identification. This is valid for satellite as well as terrestrial signals. Taking advantage of the Explorer's measurements and storage capacity, a new automatic acquisition function has been incorporated, the data logger. The measurements are stored in memory and allowed to be downloaded to a computer for a later analysis, processing and printing. Now, whenever the equipment measures the modulation error ratio, it simultaneously calculates the margin in terms of MER until arriving at the quasi-error-free limit. This new measurement is known as noise margin. Signal distribution test. Connecting a pilot signal generator like the Promax RP80 to the installation headend, the TV Explorer will measure the attenuation for each TV outlet. The RP80 has been specially designed to use in combination with the TV Explorer. Detecting the amplifier saturation. An excess of gain in the head and amplifier might cause problems in the analog channel's reception. Without the user intervention, when the TV Explorer detects a saturation problem, this icon will appear automatically on the screen. Therefore, the technician has his hands free to adjust the gain controls of the amplifier and thus accomplishing an optimum level of amplification.